We're on the way to find a subject for a shoot and it <laughs> seems pretty popular. <laughs> We found our subject. It's a Arctic snowy owl, which is pretty rare to see uh, this far south. But it does happen, I think, every maybe three, four, maybe five years where they kind of perch somewhere in Seattle. Right now it's on the roof of a house. Yeah, in our old neighborhood, actually. <laughs> pretty funny. Very cool bird. So yeah, if you can see it, it's like up by that chimney. You probably can't see it, <laughs> which opens that wide. We'll zoom up for you. Mm -hmm. So what kind of gear do we have? <laughs> it's a Fujifilm X-H1 with an up to 400 zoom and then a crop factor and then an extender so it goes way all over a thousand millimeter focal length. Mm -hmm. And then because that X-H1 is IBIS it gives it a little bit more stability which you totally need especially using that extender just in case we also have a monopod to help stabilize it even further. Oh, I have Sony a7R3 with the Tamron 70 to 300 lens. I actually have to return it in a few days, so this is pretty cool that this happened so that I can use it one last time. And the nice thing is with the a7R, I can crop in a lot because I have 42 megapixels to play with, so this would be really fun. We got a lot of good shots already in That's like so five cool. minutes. I don't know if you've ever seen like a big owl like that, but they're so interesting to watch up close. And that's why it really helps to have either binoculars or a really telephoto zoom lens because you just see a lot more detail. Yeah, we're going around the block to change angle. You can see we're literally in a residential neighborhood in a pretty temperate climate, but the Arctic owl is here. Mm -hmm. Sounds like the owl scared the child. <laughs> and here you see what's going on. A huge crowd has gathered. I think this is courtesy of photography groups on Facebook. I'm guessing the good angle is right here. <laughs> We got it. That was pretty cool. It's uh, pretty cold and I guess it doesn't really move until later in the day, like four or five o'clock. But it's still nice to get that head movement when he's like turning the head around. We got it one time standing up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And we have still shots of that one video because we aren't yet, yet shooting video. Mm -hmm. But it's it's really cool bird. Yeah. We tried to get it one other time, but we don't have the big lens. That's right. So it's good it came to our city. Honestly, it was a lot further away. So this owl is a lot closer than we saw it. Was it earlier this year even? It was last... Uh, yeah. Actually, no, it was this, it was uh, January this or so. Yeah, probably the coolest birding experience I think I've had. I've seen, I think, a barred owl. I have video of that one. We saw it by Seattle Center, by the Space Team. Oh, yes, yes. That was cool. It was, but so this is cool. Now, that was the cool bird experience, or this was the coolest so far. 